In this video, we will cover 50 CBAP practice exam questions. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to complete each question. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Question 1 What term is used to describe the monetary cost of a solution after it has been deployed and functioning in production by a vendor? A. Total ownership costing, B. Lifecycle maintenance fees, C. Sustainability fees, D. Total cost of ownership. Question 2 Enterprise analysis yields a total of 5 outputs. Out of the listed choices, which one of the following is an output of the enterprise analysis tasks? A. Assumptions and constraints, B. Stakeholder concerns, C. Solution performance assessment, D. Solution approach. Question 3 It is essential to prioritize requirements in order to create a successful project, but which stakeholder isn't involved in this process? A. Implementation subject matter expert, B. Project team, C. Domain subject matter expert, D. Project manager. Question 4 As the business analyst for your organization, you have been asked to craft a model of the requirements so that stakeholders can gain an improved comprehension of both the project and its demands. Which statement below best characterizes a model? A. Models are slices of the project solution. B models simplify the requirements for common stakeholders. C models are statistics for the return on investment, time saved, and other mathematics. D models abstract and simplify reality. Question 5 What strategy describes the different types of stakeholders, communication requirements, and expected level of professionalism needed for the project? A. Requirements Management Plan, B. Project Management Plan, C. Scope Management Plan, D. Business Analysis Communication Plan. Question 6 Identifying a suitable strategy to trace the limited requirements for this smaller project is paramount in ensuring that these objectives are met. Given the circumstances, what type of matrix would be most effective? A. Roles and Responsibility Matrix, B. R. A. C. I. Matrix, C. Coverage Matrix, D. Requirements Trace Matrix. Question 7 As the business analyst for your organization, you are looking for a quick and equitable way to select which solution is best suited to tackle an identified problem. To uncover the most suitable option, which of these approaches will provide you with this information? A scoring system, B acceptance and evaluation criteria, C vendor assessment, D voting system. Question 8 How can effective communication be maintained when an organization follows a change-driven approach to business analysis? A. Communications in a change-driven approach to business analysis focus more on the frequency of communication. B. Communications in a change-driven approach typically use face-to-face -face channels. C. Communications in a change-driven approach focus more on formal communications. D. Communications in a change-driven approach are all ad hoc. Question 9. To meet the needs of your organization, management has requested that you devise a system for storing project requirements. This includes those in progress, pending review and approved details. What kind of solution are you tasked with creating? A. A change management system. B. A repository. C. A project scope statement, D. A requirements register. Question 10 As a business analyst in your organization, you and Tim, another business analyst, are working together to pinpoint all assumptions included within the proposed solution. Which of the following is an example of an assumption? A. The vendor believes the hardware should arrive by December 1st B. The software must be compatible with Windows Vista. C. The software must cost less than $99 per license. D. The hardware must cost less than $450 per unit. Q. 
Question 11 Which one of the following statements best addresses the need to identify the stakeholders early on in the business analysis duties? A. It's important to identify the stakeholders so the business analyst knows who to report to. B. It's important to identify the stakeholders so the business analyst knows who to bill for the project. C. It's important to identify the stakeholder so the business analyst can help ensure the timely delivery of the requirements deliverables. D. It's important to identify the stakeholders so the stakeholders know who the business analyst is. Question 12 What does to trace a requirement mean? A. Tracing a requirement means to look at a requirement and the others to which it is related. It links risk, cost, quality, and scope elements to stakeholder and solution requirements to other artifacts created by the team and to solution components. B. Tracing a requirement means to look at a requirement and the others to which it is related. It links business requirements to stakeholder and solution requirements to other artifacts created by the team and to solution components. C. Tracing a requirement means to look at a requirement and the others to which it is related. It links business requirements to components in the project's work breakdown structure. D. Tracing a requirement means to track a requirements from its first identification all the way to its completion to see what issues, risks, costs, quality, and defects have surrounded the requirement. Question 13 At which stage in the project lifecycle do change requests typically become more frequent? A. During the project's launch. B. Towards the beginning of the project. C. During the project scope management processes. D. Towards the end of the project. Question 14 As the business analyst for his organization, Ben is developing a plan to optimize their laser printer. He has disassembled the machine and discerned each piece's role in its operation, as well as documenting it accordingly. What sort of requirements management is Ben executing here? A. Process modeling, B. Data modeling, C. Functional decomposition, D. Scope modeling. Question 15 Fred's company is employing a plan-driven method for their business analysis deliverables. How can they best capture the necessary requirements through this approach? A. Fred will use the appropriate documentation at the discretion of the business analysis team. B. Fred will use the project management information system. C. Fred will use whatever business analysis forms are most appropriate. D. Fred will use standardized templates. Question 16 What aspect of defining the business needs process will assess the goals and objectives that a company is aiming to accomplish? A. Business goals and objectives, B. Alternative identification, C. Solution assessment, D. Requirements. Question 17 What type of a business analysis approach concentrates on the delivery of business value in short iterations? A. Risk-driven, B. Change-driven, C. Risk-laden, D. Profit-driven. Question 18 As a business analyst for her organization, Wanda is in the midst of the process of specifying and modeling requirements. Part of this includes documenting textual requirements, outlining what capabilities must exist within a solution, any conditions that have to be met for it to work effectively, as well as one other key element which she must include? a. Any constraints that may prevent the solution from fulfilling the requirement. b. Write in the active voice. c. Describe a situation or problem. d. Express only one requirement at a time. Question 19 When employing the business analysis approach, which attribute is not typically defined? A. Requirements for solutions acceptance, B. Deliverables, C. Team roles, D. Analysis technique. Question 20 As Jim, a business analyst, readies himself to deliver his presentation on the requirements for a massive software development project, 
What steps should he take before the presentation in order to ensure successful delivery? A. Determine an appropriate format for the presentation. B. Confirm that he has the authority to host the presentation. C. Confirm that the stakeholders have signed off on the requirements. D. Hire a scribe to keep the minutes of the meeting. Question 21 As the business analyst for your organization, you are tasked with crafting a comprehensive solution scope definition. Which of the following should be included in the solution scope definition? A. Business case, B. Technical dependencies, C. Elicitation techniques, D. Organization readiness assessment. Question 22 What business analysis element strives to discover all possible options available in order to achieve the company's goals while also addressing any capability gaps? A. Ranking of approaches, B. Decision analysis, C. Documentation of assumptions and constraints, D. Alternative generation. Question 23 In order to determine if the solution identified by Steve and his team is worth pursuing, he is currently assessing whether it has sufficient business value. To answer this question, Paul must perform a comprehensive business analysis process. What process is Steve performing? A. Define transition requirements, B. Assess proposed solution, C. Assess organizational readiness, D. Allocate requirements. Question 24 As the business analyst for your organization, Gary and Janet have divergent opinions regarding a specific requirement of the software to be installed on server as laid out in your solution. What must happen in this instance before formal approval can be offered? A. The conflict will need to be resolved through research, resolution, or through a third-party mediation. B. Gary and Janet will need to determine who has seniority in the company to determine which requirement takes precedence. C. The conflict will need to be removed from the solution scope until Gary and Janet come to a solution. D. The business analyst will need to make a decision on which requirement is most appropriate. Question 25 Why is it essential for a business analyst to prioritize requirements during the requirements analysis process? A. You may need to determine the cost of each requirement. B. You may need to determine the schedule for each requirement. C. You may need to determine which requirements are most critical so the analysis and implementation efforts focus on the most critical requirements. D. You may need to determine which requirements are most critical so additional risk analysis can be completed on those requirements. Question 26 As the business analyst for your organization, you and Jennifer are working to conduct stakeholder analysis. To simplify this process and make it more efficient, you'd like to utilize a RACI chart that clarifies everyone's roles. If Jennifer is not familiar with this type of chart, then what does RACI mean? What is the best way to describe how a RACI chart can be used in conducting stakeholder analysis? A. It's a matrix that uses the responsible, accountable, consult, and inform tasks as part of the stakeholder analysis process. B. It's a role and responsibility chart that identifies when stakeholders are needed in the business analyst duties. C. It's a matrix that uses role, action, consult, and inform as part of the conduct stakeholder analysis process. D. It's a rule that the business analyst can use to identify all of the needed stakeholders, roles, actions, communications, and interest. Question 27 As the business analyst for your organization, management has requested that you prioritize requirements by their likelihood of success. Why would management want you to prioritize the requirements with this factor when some requirements are much more difficult to execute? A. They want a fast return on investment. B. They want to show early success in the implementation to the project stakeholders. C. They don't understand the requirements. D. They want to avoid penalties or fines due to a pending law. Question 28 As you build the scope of a determined problem for your organization, 
It is essential to collaborate with multiple stakeholders including the domain subject matter expert, implementation subject matter specialist, project manager and sponsor. Which one of these partners will be responsible for forming the project scope? A. Domain subject matter expert. B. Business analyst. C. Project manager. D. Sponsor. Question 29 In order to proceed with your task list, you need the inspector's approval on the initial deliverables. What is this sign-off referred to as? A. Assumption. B. Dependency. C. Milestone. D. Constraint. Question 30 In order to remain competitive in her industry and boost revenue, Sally and her business analysis team are utilizing a comprehensive business analysis approach that examines the offerings of their competitors. By exploring what services rival organizations provide potential customers, they can determine solutions to ensure they stay ahead of the competition. What specific method is Sally's group employing? A. Business Rules Analysis, B. Functional Decomposition, C. Focus Groups, D. Benchmarking. Question 31 As an integral part of evaluating competence gaps, it's vital to recognize any underlying assumptions. For instance, what could be an example of a possible assumption? A. The project manager believes that her project team members can program in COBOL. B. All vendors must have security clearance. C. The software must be compatible with the current operating system. D. The risk in the project must be quantified. Question 32 Which of the following statements best describes the conduct stakeholder analysis task? A. This task identifies organizations and lines of business that may be affected by a proposed initiative or who share a common business need. B. This task identifies stakeholders who may be affected by a proposed initiative or who share a common business need. C. This task identifies the organizations that are likely affected by a problem that a project must solve. D. This task identifies the people who may be affected by a proposed initiative or who share a common business need. Question 33 During what time frame can changes to requirements be made in a business analysis planning and monitoring assignment? A. Change to requirements can occur any time before the project scope statement is created. B. Changes to requirements can occur at any time. C. Changes to requirements can occur any time after the project's change control system has been enacted. D. Change to requirements can occur at any time before the key stakeholders approve the identified requirements. Question 34 What does the T in SWOT analysis stand for? A. Trial. B. Threats. C. Test. D. Time. Question 35 As the business analyst for NGQ Company, management has tasked me with assessing our organization's capability to meet a specific identified need. To accomplish this, I will be performing an in-depth analysis of the existing structure, personnel, processes and technology currently employed by the company. What steps can then be taken to ensure that our business needs are effectively met? A. Determining the solution approach. B. Assessing the capability gaps. C. Requirements elicitation. D. Verifying the requirements. Question 36 As the business analyst for your organization, you are tasked with prioritizing project requirements. Your leadership has asked that these be ranked based on cost-benefit analysis to determine their value to the company. In this situation, what basis for prioritization are you using? A. Business value. B. Stakeholder agreement. C. Likelihood of success. D. Urgency. Question 37 As a business analyst for the organization, I have been requested to uncover opportunities to enhance operations. 
After careful observation, I noticed that many of our stakeholders employ multiple pieces of software and duplicate activities in each package just to build customer data reports. What type of recommendation can you make in regard to this observation? A. You can address the automation of how the workers perform. B. You will need to perform active observation first to understand the processes in more detail. C. You can address the non-functional requirements of the activities. D. You will need to perform passive observation first to understand the processes in more detail. Question 38 As the business analyst for your organization, you are about to embark upon an important journey, requirements analysis. Which one of the following statements best describes the requirements analysis processes? A. It ensures that analysis and implementation efforts focus on the most critical requirements. B. It covers the definition of stakeholder requirements, which describe what a solution must be capable of doing. C. It defines all of the work, and only the required work, to complete the project objectives. D. It is conformity to requirements and a fitness for use. Question 39 In order to develop the solution scope for a certain problem, you've been assigned as an analyst in your organization. To complete this challenge, three components are essential, except one. Which of these is not necessary? A. Work breakdown structure, B. Implementation approach, C. Solution scope definition, D. Dependencies. Question 40 As the business analyst for this organization, I'm preparing a persuasive case to endorse a proposed solution. To be successful, it's imperative that I include the management horizon in my presentation. But first, what is the management horizon? A. It is the expected deliverables that will be beneficial for the organization. B. It is the point in time when the solution will be completed. C. It is the duration of each phase of the project until the solution earns a profit. D. It is the point in time for the solution to break even on cost and begin earning a profit. Question 41 When performing stakeholder analysis, what two elements should the business analyst keep in mind? A. Politics and influence, B. Influence and attitude, C. Attitude and position, D. Position and politics. Question 42 In her brainstorming session, Donna tasked the participants with developing a minimum of 10 potential solutions to an identified issue. What could be a problematic outcome with setting a goal of 10 ideas for possible solutions? A. The goal should be to come up with as many solutions as possible, not just 10 ideas. B. The goal should be to generate 10 ideas within a set time period. C. The goal should be to come up with the best solution for the problem, not 10 ideas. D. The goal should be to include everyone's input to the solutions. Question 43 As a business analyst for your organization, you are tasked with working alongside stakeholders to prioritize the requirements. The stakeholders have voiced their worries regarding financial repercussions in case certain demands don't make it past the implementation stage. To ensure these concerns are taken into account and accurately ranked according to risk tolerance, we must carefully consider the comments made by each stakeholder about the solution and individual requests. The following are the three categories of risk tolerance associated with the stakeholders except for which one? A. Mitigation, B. Risk aversion, C. Risk seeking, D. Neutrality. Question 44 What is the process of business analysis that confirms requirement specifications and models are up to a quality standard suitable for use in guiding further work? A. Identify constraints and assumptions, B. Validate requirements, C. Verify requirements, D. Specify and model requirements. Question 45 What does SWOT analysis mean? A. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, time, B. Stakeholder weaknesses, organizational threats, C. Stakeholders weaknesses, organization, threats. 
D strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. Question 46 During the requirements prioritization session, what is an example of non-negotiable demand stakeholders would make? A. All requirements are ranked as high, B. Communication, C. All requirements are prioritized by cost-benefits ratio, D. Cost. Question 47 As the business analyst of your organization, you've asked Virginia to decompose the requirements for a new solution into more manageable parts. What specialized technique have you instructed her to use? A. Decision analysis, B. Business rules analysis, C. Process modeling, D. Functional decomposition. Question 48 As a business analyst for this major project, your organization prefers face-to-face -face communication. Unfortunately, the stakeholders involved are scattered across different countries. Despite such physical distance, how can you still be an effective business analyst? A. You will need to travel on a regular rotation to each of the geographical locations to complete the business analyst duties. B. You will need to implement video conferences. C. Add more business analysts in each of the geographical location. D. You will need the stakeholders to periodically gather in one locale. Question 49 What business analysis planning and monitoring techniques can be used to define and document the business analysis approach? A. Process modeling, B. Structured walkthrough, C. Decision analysis, D. Control charts. Question 50 Aaron, being a business analyst for his organization, was given the task of creating an effective solution with a predetermined budget of $450,000. He identified all necessary project requirements and began evaluating them in terms of cost to decide which ones should be included. Aaron examines the cost of the requirements and begins removing the requirements from the allowed list in order to meet the $450,000 budget. What timeboxing or budgeting approach is Aaron using? A. Parametric, B. All-in, C. Selective, D. All-out. <laughs>